In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this interactive light up menu with animation directly inside PowerPoint. So let's get into it. Right, we'll just drop into the editor and firstly, we'll have these three boxes. These are just rectangles that have text in. Then we'll need to duplicate this slide three times. That's one for each of the highlighted interactive boxes. So we'll press Ctrl D, Ctrl D and Ctrl D. And we'll go to slide number two and we'll make that yellow. We'll go to slide number three and make option two yellow. We'll go to slide number four, make option three yellow. Then we'll go back to the first slide and we'll go to insert, we'll go to action. And then you'll see there are two tabs available, mouse click and mouse over. On the mouse over, we want it to highlight. So we'll say hyperlink to, and then we'll select slide from the drop down. We'll select the slide with the right highlight for option one and press okay, and then okay. So now if we play this, when we roll over option one, it will highlight. And now we'll just add the action to the other two boxes. So we'll click mouse over, hyperlink to, slide, select slide three and press okay. Just check that works. And then we'll go on to slide one and make sure the options added to the very final box. Mouse over, hyperlink to, select slide from the drop down. In this case, we'll have slide four, so that'll be the final highlight. And we'll just press F5 and check that works. Now that's great. What's happening is when you roll over any one of these, it jumps to the correct slide. So that's the first part. Now we'll get into the second part. We need it to come back when you roll out of them. And there's a good trick we can use here. So we can go to the slide two. And we can draw a rectangle that takes up the entire page. And now we can click action. And when you mouse over this rectangle, it's going to go back to the first slide, the main menu, which is slide one. So there are two more things we need to do with this. We need to right click and choose center back. And then we need to go to the color, make sure it's got no fill and no outline. So now when we play, we can roll over option one. When we roll out of option one, it will go back to the first slide. We need to now click on this invisible area that you can roll over and press control C and then make sure we paste it in and send it to the back of the other two slides. Control V to paste, right click, send to back. So now if we play it, we should jump to option one, we roll out, we go to option two, we roll out, we can go to option three. And that's the first part of this complete. The next thing we'd like to do is make it so that when you click on one of them, it will actually go to that page of information, option one. So here's my basic template for that page that I'm just going to copy in to start with to make things quicker. And I'm just going to go to my option one slide and I'm going to take a copy of this. Control C and then paste it here. Control V. And I'm just going to put it up the top here so we know this is the page for option one. And I'm going to go to option one on slide two. I'm going to say insert action and I'm going to make sure that when you click on that, it goes to my information slide, which happens to be slide five. So now option one should work when clicked on. There's one thing we need to do in here, and that's to make sure that when you click back, that will go back to the menu. And for this, we can right click and actually choose link, insert link, because this isn't a rollover. This is just a click and we'll make sure it goes to slide one. So now we can play from the beginning click on option one, it goes to more info, and then we can go back. Now I'm going to duplicate slide five to make sure I've got options two and three. I'm going to take the box for option two and put it in the same place as it was on the previous one. I'm going to take the box for option three, put that on the slide. I 
and now I'm just going to quickly put in the actions to make them go to there. Great! So now we'll have our interactive menu with highlights that when we click it will go straight to that slide and then when I go back it will go back to the main menu. I can also roll over any one of them to highlight. Great, so that's there and that's perfect as it is. However, we can go one further and add a little bit of animation just to get a bit more impact and visual excitement out of the slide. So if I select slides two, three and four and then put the morph transition on, I'm also going to take this duration down very small, something like 0.10. And now I'm going to go onto this slide and by holding down shift and control when you grab the corner point, it will enlarge slightly from the center so that's going to be my zoom up effect that you'll see in a moment. And we'll just go down and do something similar to the other two slides. Hold shift and control. Hold shift and control. Now when we press F5, you can see it zooms to each one of those. And we can actually even make it zoom back. And to do that, we make sure that we put morph on slide one and put the duration the same as it was on the other two, which is 0.10. Now when we play, it will zoom in and zoom out, in and out, which looks really good. And as before, you can still click through for the more information. Great, there's a good way of making a highlighting and animating interactive menu directly in PowerPoint. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.